Well, hi, it's Cam Cronin, and we're Major Sandler. We're down here at the HR McMillan Space Center in our observatory, and it's a bright, sunny day, which is great because what we're talking about is safe solar viewing. There are a couple of uh, great solar events coming up uh, in the next little while. There is a, uh, a partial solar eclipse on May the 20th of this year, and of course, the transit of Venus happening on June the 5th. Now, when we look at the sun, we really should never look at it directly. No, not at all. Never. So, looking at it just with your eyes uh, will do permanent damage to your eyes. Even if it is a partial solar eclipse and part of the sun is covered, never to look directly at the sun. Sunglasses? Would sunglasses work? No. Sunglasses would not work. Uh, looking through some exposed uh, black and white film? Nope. No. How about uh, some brown beer bottle glass? Nope. No. So, uh, those will also cause blindness in you. Uh, really, the only safe way of looking through, uh, uh, looking at the sun, uh, would be what? What would be one of the ways? Right, a number 14 welding glass. I can't believe you had that with you. Yeah, number 14 welding glass, or darker, would be fine for viewing the sun. So another way of looking at the sun is indirectly using a refracting telescope. Now, I've pointed this telescope at the sun, but I'm taking a lot of care and precaution not to look direct, uh, not through the tele uh, eyepiece itself. Even catching the eyepiece for a fraction of a second, if it catches your eye, it will cause blindness. So, what I'm doing is, I'm projecting the sun onto this paper plate here. And if I look closely, I can catch, say, some of the sunspots. In fact, right now, I can be catching some clouds that are traveling across the sun here from the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, another way of looking at the sun, this is an easy one, in fact, we're building some of these uh, at the Space Center uh, over the next uh, uh, month or so to look at these solar events, is a simple pinhole camera. Uh, you might have heard them as like cereal box uh, uh, solar viewers, um, and this is very simple. It's, it's a plate, cut out a small section of the center and I put a piece of aluminum foil on, and I've just poked a pinhole, which is where that name comes from. Now, if we walk over here and have a look at the sun, this will actually project an image onto a second paper plate of the sun. And again, this is a fantastically safe way of looking at the, the, what's going on in the sun. And during a, a solar eclipse or even during the transit of Venus, um, you will be able to see that detail moving across and you can simply focus it by moving uh, uh, frontwards and backwards. And again, a great way of being able to, to look safely uh, at our sun. So over here we have a solar filter. These solar filters are designed to block out the uh, sunlight before it enters the telescope. As a result, only a tiny fraction of the sunlight enters the telescope. So these can be mounted to the front of the, the front main of lens of a refractive telescope. Tips, you'll be able to protect your eyes and see some spectacular solar events over the next month or so.